this tutorial, we're gonna experiment a bit and I wanna show you how to be creative when it comes to effects. Let's say I wanna transform a sample into another sample. Here I have this guitar loop, for example. And I'm gonna turn it into a an hi-hat loop. Let's duplicate it. Let me change the color, okay. So the first plugin is this EQ3. I'm gonna remove the low and the mid band, so we only add the highs. And here you can see the crossover. It's set to 2.5 by default. And I like it like that. And a bit more volume. Then an EQ8 to be sure to cut out all the lows. And I can hear there's a resonance here. and some more highs. Maybe too much. Then we can use a gate to make it more tight. The gate is a dynamic processor and what it does is reducing the volume below a threshold. So basically it increases the dynamic of a sound. Turn down those knobs and the threshold as well so we can hear the effect. then a slower attack to make it less snappy. And tweak a bit the release as well. Okay, sounds good to me. Then we can use erosion to give it more texture and this is just a digital distortion. Okay, here's what we have so far, and as you can tell, the hi-hat pattern is too similar to the guitar one, so let's use a beat repeat to make it different. Turn up the variation. And no triplets. And last thing we do is add some reverb. And with hi-hats, I usually go with a short one. This is our original loop and the higher loop. Let's see now how I made a kick drum and a snare from the same guitar sample. Let's start with the kick. Here we have an auto filter with the envelope on, so the filter goes up and down quickly. Then an attacker, it's a transient designer. Then a gate, the same we used before. Then we have a utility to make it mono. A saturator. Then we have a pitch shifter, pitching down. The erosion, some more digital distortion. And then this LFO tool, which shapes the volume envelope. Then we have a corpus that emulates some materials. Nikki 8 to shape even more the sound. A pretty heavy compressor. A utility to turn down the volume. Again, a transient designer. One more auto filter with the envelope turned on. There's EQ. And a compressor. That's our chain.
Let's see now the snare. First effect is this auto filter with a band pass centered to 1K. Then we have a frequency shifter with the LFO turned on. A pretty crazy EQ. A limiter goes pretty heavy. An overdrive for the high texture. A corpus again with the marimba preset. The LFO tool to draw the classic clap shape. Then this erosion which helps a lot in the mids and highs. An EQ to get rid of the lows and give more presence. And a reverb. And that's our final result. Well, this wasn't a classic tutorial, but I think this can give you some new approaches and a different point of view when using audio effects. Of course, you can create your own chain, use your favorite DAW with the plugins you prefer and get to a totally new result. If you want a feedback on something you created with these techniques, please tag me or the Dharma page on Instagram and I'll be glad to give you my opinion. Thank you so much. See you next time.